Hi, I'm Jim from BOE Marine, and today we're mounting the transom mount TM260 from Aramark. Here it is right here. We already have it on the boat. It's a monster. If you uh, come around here, you can see it compared to the uh, P66. Uh, this customer mounted the P66 earlier in the spring uh, to get him through the summer while I waited for this guy to come out. So uh, now this one's out, and we, we're mounting it. This thing is huge. You can see it in contrast to the P66. It's an absolute monster. It's a thousand watts, so it's great for deep water. Uh, and this guy does fish offshore a lot, so this is what he needs. This transducer has a big aluminum bracket here. Actually, it's stainless. I'm sorry, a big stainless bracket. Uh, it does have kick-up protection, so if you hit something, it'll it'll kick up. And uh, it also, to fine-tune it, Airmar gives you a bunch of these wedges. They give you three transom wedges, and you can mount them this way to angle the transducer up some, or you can mount them this way to angle it down a little bit. We usually mount these with a about a uh, about an eighth of an inch down on the leading edge here, about an eighth of an inch down from the the running surface of the boat. We find that's a great place to to uh, a great starting point for these. And you can see at the trailing edge how it's about an inch down. Uh, we like to keep them angled down a little bit to keep these things in the water at all speeds. If uh, you know, the owners, of course, are going to take the boat out and sea trial it and uh, give us feedback on, on what it's doing. And, you know, we may have to add one of these wedges. We may have to slide the transducer up. We may have to slide it down. But that's just all part of the process of getting these things dialed in. So, anyway, that's uh, the new TM260 from Aramar. And I'm Jim Mayer from BOE Marine. And if you have any questions about it, just check us out online. Thank you.